In 2022 alone, the world threw away 62 million tons of electronic waste. That is more than 1.5 million garbage trucks filled with old phones, laptops, and other devices, many of them containing valuable gold. But we recycle less than one quarter of it. Now, scientists led by Professor Justin M. Chalker from Flinders University have found a new way to recover gold from e-waste safely, cleanly, and affordably. Published in Nature Sustainability, their method avoids mercury and cyanide, two toxic chemicals used in traditional gold mining. In large-scale mining, cyanide is common. In artisanal mining, mercury is used to bind with gold, then heated, releasing toxic fumes. This is the world's biggest source of mercury pollution. Chalker's team created a method based on trichloroisocyanuric acid, a cheap, widely available chemical used in water treatment. Mixed with salt and water, it transforms gold into a dissolved form. Then a special polymer made from recycled sulfur captures the gold and separates it. The polymer itself comes from oil industry waste giving it a second life. Even better, the entire process is recyclable. The polymer and water can be reused and the polymer can be broken down and rebuilt with light. It's like having a Lego system for green gold recovery. They've tested it on minerals, circuit boards and lab waste and it works. The next step? Partner with small-scale miners and organizations in rural areas to test it in real-world conditions. If successful, this could reduce toxic mining practices and turn our growing e-waste problem into a sustainable gold mine. Subscribe for more science news only here on Atlas Pro.